Welcome to Smoky CNC Woodworks. I'm Brian, and today, just as a little thumbnail said, I'm going to show you some stuff I don't normally show you. Basically, what it's going to be is some stuff that I cut all the time. I mean, just little orders. About 90% of the stuff I do videos on is stuff people's actually ordered. And so I'm able to make a video of it, send it to them. Y'all get to see it. Works out great. Well, there's a whole other side of stuff that I, I make quite a bit, and it's just small signs or little home decor signs that are very common. And I never show me making those because they're a very simple process, but I don't have anything else to cut today, and I've got to get these done. So I'm going to run over to the other room real quick and show you just a couple more things you don't usually see. So usually when you guys see me in here cutting stuff, you get to see this view right here. But wildly enough, this is the back of the machine. Whenever I program anything, I have to do a 180 degree flip on the program so it cuts facing y'all. Because when I, generally I'm out here cutting by myself and I'm not videoing anything, I cut it and it's flipped completely the other way. This is actually the front of the machine because back here is the computer and I stand right here and work and I watch it cut and it faces me this way instead of facing the opposite way. So when I'm watching from this end, I'm seeing everything upside down. So while I have you here at this end of the machine, I'm going to answer a question real quick that I get asked pretty often and I never seem to answer it and just got asked it again last night. So it's going to be that guy's lucky day. I'm going to show him exactly how to fix it. So what I'm going to fix is uh, something I get asked quite often is how I make that motor and that motor both turn at exactly the same time and work together. So the way that happens is you go to config, slave access, and then you go right here and you see X axis, there's no slave to it. Y axis, there is. There is an A axis. So this is actually Y, this is actually A, and by slaving them together, it makes them to where they function at the same time. Hopefully that answered his question and will clear up things for a lot of other, th other people. So now we're gonna go ahead and get to cutting that stuff that I don't normally cut in front of y'all, so let's go.
guys, that was just a couple of things that I don't normally do on uh, videos, just simply because they are such a simple thing and just very small. The first one there you saw me do was this little sign. This is a Eastern Cedar, and that is just polyurethane on it, like you saw me put it on there. I'll end up putting about five uh, layers of poly on this because this is actually a house sign for somebody to stick up on the side of their house. It's just their house number. The other one was a request that I get requests for a lot of these little signs. It's just a simple gather sign. These, uh, you saw how they do. They're, they're not hard to cut. They're hard to paint because I only showed you paint, painting the surface because it takes forever to paint these things because you got to get on the edge and get in every little nook and cranny and it's just a mess when you start, get to painting these. So I just don't normally show that stuff simply because of I get bored doing like the gather signs because it's just sitting there going around and doing the exact same thing over and over and over. So... Well, guys, that's it for this time. If you haven't done so yet, please subscribe, and I'll see you all next time.